All right, just get a couple of requests to kind of briefly go over some pre-market scanners as well as screener criteria. So I'm just gonna go over that real quick in this video. So the number one thing I'm always looking at in pre-market is the big percent gainers. Um, now it is also earnings season right now, so it is a good idea to keep an idea on the earning or an eye on the earnings scans as well. But it's 9:03 a.m. right now. What's the first thing I'm going to do? I'm going to open a new tab. I'm going to go to my pre-built scanners. I'm going to go to biggest percent gainers and. 20 and under. Now, again, you can focus depending on what your, you know, if you're a true penny stock trader, you can only look at one and under. Me, I like to see everything 20 and under. Then um, I'm going to sort by percent change. So it gives me the biggest percent gainers. And I quickly scan the list for tickers I recognize. Now it's 26 results. That's a manageable amount, but I recommend, especially if you're kind of newer to this, dialing in on the most liquid stocks in pre-market and as well as stocks that are up the most. So again, something like 0.77% gain isn't really interesting to me. And it is uh, 9.04 a.m. and here's a stock with 50,000 shares traded. That's not interesting to me as well. So what I'm gonna do is hit the wrench button, go to the filter results, and I am going to filter by volume. At this point in the morning, I'd like to see at least 100,000 shares traded. And then percent gain, I'm gonna go five. Now, in we're kind of coming out of low float mania. <clears throat> in the past, I would filter by float as well. And then keep in mind, there's all other criteria that we're not gonna break down for this video. Especially if you're looking at very low price stocks, you may wanna look at, at number of trades versus the volume, you know, if you're trading something like ERBB, which is a marijuana stock that's in play, but I think it's like a hundredth of a penny or a thousandth of a penny, isolating by 100,000 shares traded isn't necessarily useful. You'd want to focus more on number of trades. So once I filter, now I've got three results. In my opinion, especially as a new or intermediate trader, the fewer stocks you can research, the fewer stocks you can build a plan on, the better, okay? <clears throat> Don't try and break down 100 different tickers at 9.05 a.m. You're going to get information paralysis. You're not going to be able to be ready. You're not going to be able to, to have a plan on the best stocks in the next 25 minutes before the stock market opens. Filter by volume, filter by price. Ignore stocks in pre-market that aren't up big, that don't have a catalyst, that don't have volume. Next screener, I next thing I always do is I open a new tab, I go to the screener plus, and I have some pre-built scanners and we can get very sophisticated, but I'm just going to bring up what I call my basic gainer scan. Now this is nice if you want to look at higher price stocks. So maybe, you don't care how expensive the stock is. I could put in $10,000 on the upper end of this, of this screener. Now, how did I build this? Price data, price, and then I added two last price blocks. Um, I don't really care what the bid or the ask is. I wanna know what the last print is. So once I hit that twice, you see I have two purple boxes. I now manipulate one of the boxes to be greater than a dollar. I typically don't trade the really low price stocks. Set that to whatever you want. Last, normally I'm looking at less than 20, but in this market, I like, you know, there's a lot of good higher price opportunities right now. So lately, I've been setting that to less than $100. Now, I know if you've got a small account, that may not be accessible to you, but right now, and I've talked about this in a lot of videos, I really think the best opportunities are in the higher price stocks, whether that be $10, $15, $80, $90. $90. So I wanna see those stocks because they are accessible to me, they are interesting to me. Next is I wanna see greater than 10% up. Since I'm looking at higher price stocks, I'm even I'm gonna look for bigger percent gains. 
then the volume right now I've got set to a million. But as I discussed, I can easily modify that box, change that to 100,000, hit my enter key. I now have a pre-built pre-market scan. I run it and see how many results I get. Today, I've got five. Perfect. I start looking at these stocks. What I like to do is add a new column, go to basics, and then add the news. That tells me whether or not there's news on the stock today. So now I can see a stock that is up a good percentage, has volume, and has news. So let me bring up TWLO. I can double click that. I can get my chart. I can see that by peeking at the news, this was an earnings winner last night. Chart big rip, held its gains after hours. If this stock pushes new highs, that's a potential trade based on the facts that it is an earnings winner. So that's how I go from in a four minute video from running simple scans to trading or to finding a solid trade opportunity. So my plan would be if I get 35.50 um, on TWLO, that's a potential buy with risk down here in these, the high 34s, maybe at 35 um, in this kind of range brown pre-market area. So that's a trade plan with one click. New highs is a potential buy with risk around 35 or maybe a little under 35. Goal would be two to one risk to reward. Maybe you get a $2 move out of this stock. So thanks a lot, everybody. Feel free to post questions in the comments. Keep it simple, stupid. I'm not calling you stupid, just using the KISS uh, acronym that is that I, you know, I think is very powerful tr for traders, K-I-S-S. -S. In this market in 2017, you do not need to scan for a ridiculous amount of criteria. Simple scans, find what other traders are looking at, and trade the momentum. So thanks a lot, guys, and we'll see you next time.